Hey, good people. This is Trees from Living Green Garden. And I am putting my worm bin. Um, I'm putting together my worm bin, starting worm bin. So um, I got some worms in um, Friday, which was maybe five days ago, I don't know. So I'm already starting off as like a terrible worm mom because the, the babies, they need a place to stay. But um, luckily the um, place that I ordered it from, oh, you always have to be mindful of the camera people, be mindful of the camera. Okay, so the place I ordered it from, Uncle Jim's Worm Farm, um, packs up the worms so they can like, uh, survive in this environment for 10 days um, as long as you feed them and keep them moist which um, I fed them twice and make sure they're moist so it's time to get them in their home and so um, I'm just doing like a really simple setup that you can see a lot on I just boy I just got straps up you know what I am just Look, y'all, you, if, if you're looking for a fashion show, that that's, I'm a gardener. This is not what I do. So ignore all this. I just got issues going on. Anyway, so, um, I, okay, so I'm uh, an environmentalist. I believe in um, recycling and reusing what you already have. And so um, I'm using uh, some kitty litter uh, buckets of pails. Uh, now I, I don't buy the plastic because, um, uh, I found them in the cardboard. So I just get them in cardboard now and I compost cardboard, but I did have these left over, uh, and they were being used for something else and a couple were not, but, um, uh, so now I'm turning this into my, my worm bin. Okay. So to get started, all right, so you need, if you get started with, uh, kitty litter pails or actual buckets uh, for a really basic startup. And hey, look, folks, this is not like the only way you can set up a starting worm bin. You can do, um, what do you call those? Um, the tubs. I can't think what they're called, but there's other ways to set them up. And also, they're like really fancy stuff. If you just don't want to do a DIY project. There's stuff that's already set up that's like 150 something dollars and all this net. But why do that when hell? You can either reuse what you already have or um, go get a bucket for like $3. That's what I'm talking about. So um, for a basic startup, you want to, you need two. So you want one, the, this is the one that's gonna go on the bottom. And um, this one, you don't put any holes in it. You take the top off. And this one is going to go into here. So this is how it is going to look. And this bottom one here is going to collect all of the juices and that great worm casting tea. Yes! Um, it's going to be um, caught down here that you can use for your plants. Good stuff. While the worms are active in this top bucket now this top bucket you need holes in this one so you need holes at the bottom and you see where i drilled my holes now the recommendation is to use um an eighth bit which i did and it was like so easy to do so you want plenty of holes for airflow and for drainage. So plenty of holes here. And notice, and I got this from another YouTuber, that I did not put holes here, just uh, um, on the sides in the middle here, because on the inside of the bucket, I don't know if you can really see in here, that, I'm not sure if you can really see. Yeah. But anyway, so where I have placed the holes are like the lower parts of the bucket. So, of course, the liquid will go to the, um, the lowest point and, um, and it will drain into the other bucket. Now, not only do you want plenty of holes at the bottom, but because living things need air, living things need to breathe, you want to drill holes along the side 
as well. So very easy to do. So now, and this one, this top one, you want to keep the lid on. Lid off on the bottom one, lid on for the top. Now, now it's time to set up their environment, which, so um, a worm bin is very similar to composting. You want the right combination of greens and browns. Now, if you do not know what that means, your greens are your kitchen scraps, uh, your vegetables, your fruit scraps, um, grains, breads, all of that. Um, and your browns are like your cardboard, your newspaper, dried leaves, and things like that. And so when you compost outdoors, you need like the right uh, proportions of each so it doesn't get too soggy. So my default for composting uh, is to do um, one part greens, which are your, your greens are your, your nitrogen, is the nitrogen, and two parts browns. And um, I've been fine with doing that with composting. And I will be doing that here as well. Now, the difference is, so like if you're composting and it's outside, ooh, look at all this. All right, if you're composting and it's outside, yeah, it could get soggy and stuff. I've never had that experience because I, I'm like, hey, in my opinion, you can't overdo it on the browns. So I'll put a ton of browns, which is your carbon. Um, but since this is going to be indoors, this has the potential to stink if you do not do the right proportions. Ain't nobody trying to have no stinking bin up in this mug. You know, ain't nobody trying to do that. So, um, so you definitely want to make sure that you um, do your layers right or do like the proportions right. Now, um, this is my very first bin that I am starting. And I happen to be on Instagram. And Kitchen to Compost uh, posted their um, worm bins. If you want to know more about composting and kitchen composting, I highly recommend following Kitchen to Compost. Um, I told Kitchen to Compost, like, hey, my baby just came in and I'm going to set up their bed tonight or tomorrow. And it's been like five days later, later and I'm just setting it up. I'm such a bad worm mom. But that's okay. That's okay. We're getting started. So I asked, how do I get this bin started? And this is what they recommended. So you, you want to layer it like a lasagna. They didn't say that, but uh, this is what I'm saying. This is how I read it. And okay. So you, for a starter bin, you want that first layer and like this. So the bottom bucket is not going to have anything. Um, although I do have my shredded paper in here because I moistened my shredded paper, but all of this is going to go to the top bin. So on that bottom bin, you, no, not bottom bin, the top bin, you want to layer the bottom with um, shredded paper. Now, Kitchen of Compost on Instagram did not say to moisten the paper, but other videos that I've watched, everyone said to moisten the paper and you don't want it like sulking wet. You don't want to like uh, squeeze it and liquid is coming out. You just, you, you want it wet. Uh, but not soaking. So um, I did do that. I've got the shredded paper and um, the, the paper is moist. So first layer it with the paper, then layer it shredded paper, then layer it with soil, then layer it with more paper. And so Kitchen of Compost really has the same philosophy as I do. Um, the more browns, not the more browns, the better, but like two parts brown, one part um, green. So paper, soil, then paper, then food scraps, then a little bit more paper, then put the worms on top. And, um, and according to Kitchen of Compost, which sounds right, that um, they're going to burrow their way down and they're going to eat and poop and I get to use all that for my wonderful plants. Yay. What am I, I'm at nine minutes already. Jeez, I haven't even got it started. Okay, y'all. So let's do this. Let's, 
Layer these up and come on now. Okay. Why, why, why does it have to be so difficult? Here we go. Can you see that okay? Yes. All right, let's do it, y'all. All right. So first, kitchen to compost. Set to do the first layer with the shredded paper. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, and hey, make sure that you all... Um, rinse your bins out um, before you you know use them for the worms so okay so i think that's pretty good okay so i've got some shredded paper in here now it is time for the soil and my mom my mom is always getting on me for like not wearing gloves so this is for you mama this is for you okay so now let's put some soil in here. Now, if you're wondering like, where did this soil come from? Um, I planted some squash in here that didn't germinate. So I'm just gonna use this all. So, okay, so putting some soil in here. Oh yeah, it, it's, it's beginning to look like a wormhole home. Can y'all see it? Yeah, already. Oh, so, so amazing. Okay, so I've got the soil in there. And then another layer of paper. This really actually is extremely easy to set up. Huh. I'm actually very impressed. Okay, so go. I've got more paper, more paper in here. Now time for the main event, the main event, which are the worms, yes! Okay, so let's introduce the worms, can y'all see, to their new homes. Okay, so do I just dump them in here, I guess. Let's do it, okay. Actually, y'all, I think I was supposed to put the scraps. I forgot they needed food. Oops. Oh, well. They'll find the scraps. Okay. Um, now that I, I was supposed to put the scraps before I did the worms. I did the worms first. But let's look at the worms. They'll find the food. You all can't really see the worms. That's good. So let's see. Let's. Okay, let me get my scraps here. Okay, so I've got some old, um, what do you call this? Um, I've got like avocado um, peels and an old banana peel and just stuff that's just been around in my refrigerator. Let me. I do plan on editing this if I can. I hope I can. We'll see. So, all right. So, okay. Putting in, okay, I'm gonna put in the scraps. Um, I got some onion shavings here. Okay. So, putting that in and bad environmentalist. I've got onions that I've never used. And it's in plastic. I know, this is real bad, real bad. I'm not sure if I bought these, honestly. I don't know if these were given to me. I'm just not sure. But no excuse. So let's put that, and I don't want to put too much. So the thing is, and especially depending on how many worms you have, you don't want to put, like, too many greens compared to how many worms you have. And I'm not sure how many worms I have. I think I have, like, maybe 250. I think that's how much I pay for Oh my God, they are like all over the freaking place. Oh my God, they actually look kind of gross. Uh, I think I just really disturbed them. 
like Kenya. Like, but still. Let me take this off. Ooh, I hope I'm not, ooh, I hope I don't have worms on mine. Wait a second, what am I doing? But y'all are seeing my house and everything. This is terrible. Okay, so. Okay, y'all see what's going on here? Okay, there they go. So I didn't layer it right, but they're gonna be okay. They're gonna be just fine. And let's top this off with some more paper. Uh, just a little bit more paper on top. Let's cover them up. Some more paper. Okay. And the worm bin is set. So now all I have to do is just... Close this up. And there is my worm bed. So it's pretty easy, very easy actually. Although, um, I don't know, it's not the, the best recorded video, but hey, it's something. So, uh, hey, y'all, so subscribe to me <coughs> you know it's so interesting where am i looking at so interesting <coughs> i did not a lot but a little bit of work for you all not to see the mess in my house and damn it shit you you saw it anyway uh so hey y'all um i'll keep y'all updated on my worm bin um subscribe leave a comment ask some questions be kind, be nice, and be good. Okay, bye.